In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can easily perform multi-level drilling using one CNC. Now in this example, you can see that we have a solid model, and you can also see that we have holes located at three different Z levels. Now each one of these holes is a half inch deep, and each hole has a diameter of 375 thousandths. Now to perform multi-level drilling, it's very simple. Just head over to the command manager and select your stock tool paths and then select drill hole wizard. Now the hole wizard is going to place these holes in three different groups because they're at three different Z levels. But what you want to do is just check all three of those groups so one CNC will drill all of them. Now if you'd like you can select the sort button and by using sort by direction you can actually change the direction in which one CNC is going to drill the holes. I think I like that direction the best, so I'm going to save that and then click OK. We're going to click Next now, and it's very important that you check this item here called Use Geometry for Material Top. Make sure you have that checked. That's going to allow you and provide the opportunity for multi-level drilling. Now for my rapid clearance plane, I'm going to use a half inch, and then for my plunge clearance, I'm going to use 50 thousandths. That looks great, so let's click Next on that, and why don't we just perform a drill hole operation. So I'm going to left click Drill. To fill out the parameters, just double click on the drill option and then fill out whatever you need. Now for this tool, we'll say it's interposition number one. I'm happy with the speeds and feeds. My diameter is set at 375 thousandths. That looks good, so I'll click next. Now I do want to output can cycles, so I have machine cycles selected here. It's also very important that you have incremental selected. And then for my hole depth, I'm just going to type in a half inch, 0.5. Now what this is going to do is, because we have incremental set, that means that one CNC is going to drill incrementally a half inch from each one of these Z levels. Very nice. Let's click next on that. That looks great. I'm going to use just a G81 for this. We'll click finished on that. Finished again. And there we go. Now why don't we simulate the toolpath? So I'm going to right hand mouse click. We're going to select simulate rest. Going to use the solid model I created earlier for our stock. We'll click OK to that, and here we go. That's a half inch deep there, half inch deep, half inch deep. Speed it up a little bit, half inch, half inch, half inch, and half inch deep. And there you go. Multi level drilling easily accomplished, provided by one CNC. That's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.